story. The kataka, the dancer, is a storyteller. The next story that I'm going to tell is actually more of a, a thought um, by the Ustad Ahmed Jan Turkwa. And I found this beautiful recording and I'm going to improvise a little bit to it. This is an element called upaj or improvisation. Um, very well used by masters um, from all types of music. Um, and my Guruji actually dances with a tap dancer who both sides, there's Indian classical musicians and jazz musicians on one side and both are in the center, Saval Jabab, but a lot of it is also improvisation, upaj. Towards the end of the piece, I'll be reciting a few compositions, tihais, that were taught to me. Not the very tihais, so digda digdige, bowls. And 
a quick background on Katak. It traced thousands of years ago, beginning with um, priests or uh, storytellers that retold ancient epic stories like the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, um, with messages. So it was a lot of drama involved in the storytelling. Then it evolved, it evolved over time with the Mughal Empire influencing. So you see Muslim style um, dress and hastaks. But Kathak is the only Indian classical dance that still maintains both the Hindu and the Muslim uh, attributes. And so it is a true union of not only religion, but also the culture. So this piece, moving away from Hinduism more to the Muslim influences, is um, a thought. Thank you. Forgive me for any mistakes. First time I'm going to perform it.